a video on um, seeing if I can um, ferment Coca-Cola. So I was thinking about this uh, months ago. I bought myself a can of Coca-Cola and it's been in the fridge for ages. Um, like Coca-Cola is um, carbonated rather than fermented. Uh, so you can ferment uh, sweet fruit juices and drinks to make uh, like like an old fashioned fizzy pop. Uh, but in, and that's how it was made until the invention of carbonation, uh, carbonation um, which is how Coca-Cola is made. It's, it's carbonated, it's not fermented. So I was kind of curious, could, because I think that uh, fermented fizzy drinks are healthier for you than carbonated, because that's basically just sugary water uh, made fizzy. But, carbonate, uh, but uh, fermented drinks have got natural... Um, bacteria in them and yeasts and things uh, which are which are kind of better for you because things like uh, we're talking about the same type of, of, of bacterias and yeasts as in the um, yogurt making or in um, uh, kefir or those type of things so I was kind of thinking can we uh, ferment some coca-cola and, and make it fizzy again so take the fizz out of it ferment it and see if it becomes fizzy again and if we can ferment it we can actually turn coca-cola into alcohol so i've got i've been faffing around with champagne yeast and i wanted to make a champagne yeast culture see if it would keep alive in the fridge it did it worked this has been alive for two months in the fridge um obviously because it's in the fridge it slowed down the fermentation process so it's kept alive for a lot longer so it's been in the fridge for, uh, for, for two months i've kept feeding it with a few fresh grapes in there um but it's still fermenting so, but I've made a new, um, obviously over time it's just slowly, slowly, slowly turn into alcohol and it will kill the yeast, which is not what I want. I don't want to keep the yeast alive so I could use it in future projects rather than uh, like having to buy more champagne yeast. Can we just keep it alive type of thing? So what I've done is I've got some more grapes and I've added some of that juice to those grapes and re-fermented it. So then that, that will be in the, um, it'll be, there'll be not much alcohol in it and it'll carry on fermenting in the fridge and then in two months time I can do the same process again. So I've got this um, champagne yeast culture. Champagne yeast is a more, it's a stronger type of yeast. Uh, so like it will, it, it fermented kind of quite well in the fridge. It was like, um, it's winter now so it's colder in the fridge um, because the air, the air temperature. But in, in the summertime, uh, well, the back end of the summer when it, when I was fermenting it, it was actually fermenting. Well, I could see the bubbles in the fridge. Um, so uh, it's a stronger type of of yeast. So these Coca Cola, Coca Cola and drinks like this have uh, an ingredient, and I can't remember what the ingredient is. Um, I don't think it's uh, phosphoric acid. I don't think it is the phosphoric acid. I think there's something else in it that stops. Uh, yeast and fermentation in the, in the can so this might not actually work but I'm curious and if I'm curious about something we might as well have a go so we need to knock the fizz out of the coca-cola so we'll pour it into a container and we can either whisk it up or we can pour it into another container. Not going to recycle. Well, let's give it a whisk. Get that excess fizz out of it. Yeah. So I can see why they make it. Uh, they carbonate Coca-Cola rather than ferment it. Because uh, fermenting is, I mean, if you leave it too long, it turns into alcohol. That's not what you want from a fizzy, from a, from a fizzy drink, is it? <laughs> and also, it's an instant thing to um, carbonate something, whereas fermentation takes time. And it's it's more of, it's a harder thing to do with fermentation than just simply adding carbon, uh, um, forcing carbon into something and making it fizzy that way. So hopefully that's not most of the fizz out of it. Which will naturally happen anyway over the next few days. So I'm going to put quite a large amount of 
the juice from this yeast in here because I think it needs I want it to survive so you probably can't just quite see that but I'm going to pour some of that juice into there I'm going to pour it through a cloth the cloth's clean it's just stained from all the things that I faff around with you know I'm always straining something through something and I just it's a nice size bit of cloth so if it gets washed it just gets a bit stained so I probably stained um, some bitters through it so I mean that's putting that amount of liquid in is going to affect the flavour of the Coca-Cola but I'm not, not bothered about that just yet so that there that there and then um, Chris will like I like doing things on the cheap if I'm honest um, I think if we can do a hobby and we can do it on the cheap uh, for as cheap as possible I think that's better so I'm going to uh, use a balloon as an airlock rather than a proper airlock so that's a proper airlock which we use for fermentation we sell very well but you've got to buy them you know and and i think but you can and you've got to buy them and generally from unless you've got a brewing supply place near you uh, you have to order them from a specialist shop so but we can go anywhere we can buy balloons can't we so a balloon will act as an airlock so balloon on the top of the bottle like that and then we'll be able to see Squeeze the excess air out of it, and then if we do get fermentation, bloom will inflate, and we'll be able to tell. So it might take a couple of days to get going. I'm not going to shake it up. The yeast will be on the champagne yeast will be at the top of the container at first. So it's probably better that it doesn't mix in with uh, the Coca-Cola. It wants to be as concentrated as possible because I think I think the additives in the Coca-Cola will, will probably kill the yeast but we'll see we'll see and if we can ferment it we can make it fizzy and if we can ferment it further we can turn it into alcohol and that would be kind of quite interesting wouldn't it that would be kind of quite interesting but anyway so we'll have a look at that in a couple of days time so 10 days later and no fermentation so not to worry not to worry Obviously, the preservatives in it um, stop it from um, being fermented, um, which is, is, you know, if it, if it started fermenting, it would, uh, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, it go off, which is kind of not what I want. So that's all right. We can't re-ferment. Uh, we can't ferment Coca-Cola. However, I did watch a video um, a few months back. Uh, and it was about making a Coca-Cola at home. Um, can't make proper Coca-Cola because we can't get the coca leaf flavouring. Um, but we can make something similar. So I might just have a go at that uh, when I've got a bit more time. Uh, and I fancy fermenting some more things. Uh, we'll have a go at making some uh, kind of Coca-Cola-ish. See how it, see kind of how it flavours. See what it tastes like. And then we'll have a go at fermenting it. Uh, with some champagne yeast um, and see what that tastes like and then we'll have a go at uh, fermenting that further and see if we can turn it into alcohol but I think that would be kind of quite interesting but anyway uh, instead of just um, carbonating um, the uh, Coca-Cola we'll make we'll ferment it so there we go it failed but not to worry uh, if we don't try we never know 